your mama so unfamiliar with the gym, she calls it James. If you don't understand why they're all laughing at this awful joke, well, it's because I hired this whole crowd to laugh at everything I say, all to make this comedy club, and more specifically their owner, think I'm funny. Why am I doing this? People are always telling me how hilarious I am in YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram comments. And I'm here to put that to the test, as I obviously trust what the NDLs say. I wanted to prove that I can be funny in all avenues, so I managed to find the We Are Funny Project, a London-based underground comedy club, that I could try my hand at stand-up comedy. How are you doing, Alfie? Big up, Alfie. Alfie is the owner of the club and the person we'll be pranking this video. He thinks I'm filming a documentary about becoming a stand-up comedian with absolutely no experience. Under my stage name, IMAP Use. But before I absolutely crushed it with a fake crowd that I hired, I wanted to completely bomb in front of Alfie with a completely real crowd. And when he found out that this was going to be my first ever show, he wasn't convinced I'd be able to smash it. What happens if the audience want me to keep going? Uh, that's never going to happen. That the audience is going to want you to keep going over running because I'm kind of got more stage time than you. You've clearly never seen something of my level. The way this works is all comedians only have five minutes to make the audience laugh. Once the five minutes is up, you're done. Wish me luck, guys. This was my first ever stand-up routine and the plan was to make it the worst thing Alfie had ever seen. So get ready for the most awkward few minutes of your life. Thank you. Thank you guys. Yeah, I'm I'm at, I'm at Use. It's a very unique name. Can anyone like repeat my name? So it's I'm at Use. I'm at Use. I'm at Use. That's my name. Yeah. Okay. Um, let me just go into it. Where did Sally go when the bomb went off? She went everywhere. Do you get it? Because the bomb went off, it exploded, and Sally went all across the room. It's like, it's like, because she exploded. <laughs> you guys get it, yeah? Uh, my least favourite type of joke is um, your mama jokes, because um, honestly, they're just a bit disrespectful, you know? Mothers are sacred, they're also stupid, and been done by everyone literally thousands of times. Just like your mum. <laughs> You get it because she's been like ran through. Um, okay, um, so uh, this next one, my dad bought me a bus for Christmas. And by bus, I mean he bus a load all over my face. <laughs> it's true, best Christmas ever. Okay, wow, you guys are a good audience. Thank you, thank you so much. I live in London. Who else lives in London? Yeah? Okay, oh, since when? No, since when did I ask? <laughs> Get ratioed, bro. Um, okay, uh, sorry for disrespecting you. Let me just come over. I, I didn't mean to disrespect you. So can you please tell me, um, how's, how's your day been? It's been okay. Shush. <laughs> I got him, I got him. Yeah, yeah, I'm not done yet. Sorry, one sec, let me get this back up. You know sperm banks accept your mother's spit as donations? It's true. Knock knock. Dedant. Dedant ask G plus ratioed plus L plus get wrecked noob. Um, okay, um, this, this next one. Okay, let me just build up. Could be quite controversial. Why was six afraid of seven? What was that? No, seven was black. All right. <laughs> oh, you all laugh at that one. That's the one you find funny. Yeah, because you all can, you find it relatable. It's disgusting, honestly. God, the racism is screaming. What do you say if you've lost 25% of your roof? Oof. <laughs> you get it. You get it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Why did the blind man fall into the well? because he couldn't see that well. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Yes, you are my guy. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate it. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm done. I'm done. Thank you. Wow. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Wow.
Wow. Wow. Wow. Thank you. Thank you so much. Man. That's something you should never normally do as a stand-up comedian is of course come on stage and read notes. It's not something I would normally allow. But I didn't know he was going to do it, and what was I going to do anyway, ladies and gentlemen? So hopefully next time he won't be reading notes. My name is Alfie Notes. Good night! What an incredible show. Couldn't have gone any better. But I wasn't too happy with what Alfie said at the end there, so I went to go and question him about it. Sorry, I just wanted to talk to you about what you said on stage about me. What you were saying about me reading it off my phone. If you're reading your material, it means you haven't memorised your material. No, but I, me I memorised all of it. Yeah? I just prefer the vibe of doing it off my phone. And that works for you, but there's like a hundred other people in the room it doesn't work for as well. So what would you say the chances are that the, my set tomorrow is the best thing you've ever seen? Zero. Best Literally reaction? Zero. zero. Greatest okay. act I've ever seen? No. Okay. <laughs> Alfie said there's a hundred people who wouldn't like me reading off my phone. He also said that my next show wasn't going to be the greatest reaction he's ever seen. Well, there's a simple way I can prove him wrong and change his entire perception on stand-up comedy. And the best way to do this? Castings. Filling the audience with paid actors to laugh at my every joke to ensure success is definite. After many applications, we found a bunch of people to be in our crowd. And 24 hours before the show started, I went to meet them. My friends. I'd like to introduce you to today's audience. Let's go. Okay, even for me, this is extra. Oh, oh, thank you. Thank you so much. You may be wondering why I've gathered you here today. Well, yesterday I performed at a comedy club and no one really laughed at my jokes. The reason I've gathered you all is you're all going to be laughing at my jokes, proving that I'm funny. Every joke I tell, you laugh like crazy. Every time there's going to be other people performing, just small chuckles. No laughs as big as mine, but give them a couple chuckles as well because it's difficult. I'm going to prove today to the comedy club that I'm the funniest person they've ever seen. Are you ready? Let's go! If you're wondering why the crowd is so happy, it's because they've been drinking from air up bottles. And if you're wondering what an air up bottle is, well, I'm here to tell you. It's a bottle that makes water taste like whatever flavour you like without using any of the other traditional additives found in other flavoured drinks. It does this by using your sense of smell to make your brain think that the water is flavoured. All you need to do is fill up your air up bottle with water, attach the scent pod and gently pull it up to activate it. And there's loads of flavours to pick from. Within seconds you could be drinking raspberry lemon or cherry cola. <laughs> Best thing is you can get an air up bottle now by clicking the link in the description. Thanks again, Air Up, for sponsoring this video. <laughs> the plan is in action, so like before, I made my way down to the comedy club and met with Alfie. Hello, mate. How you doing? Good to see you again. Yes. <laughs> yeah, great. No stuff? Yes. No really? rice stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How about Oh, right. I thought you were going to come and uh, do it off the, off the phone again. No, 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 no. We've arrived at the comedy club. Now it's time for me to get ready. Ah, oh, would you look at this? A beautiful suit. I'm ready. Let's go. I was ready, so now it's time for my extras to come down and start filling out these seats. <laughs> Everyone's arriving. It's slowly filling up, so let's hope it's a, it's a good performance. One thing I quickly realised is that the amount of extras I hired did not correlate with the amount of seats available. So quickly, you could see the audience getting very full. Well, I think it's safe to say it's a lot more packed today than it was yesterday. Oh my god. Oh my god, man. But we move. Bigger crowds means bigger laughs and more success. Like before, the lights go down and the show begins. Showtime. Lights are off. Let's go. I knew my routine was golden, but as I watched the comedians perform, I thought what better way to expand my set than to use some of their jokes as well. Judging by your appearance, I'm going to assume you're not very good at, I don't know, ball play. <laughs> That's my time on this. Good night. You know what you said, um, judging by your appearance, I'm guessing you're not very good at ball play. Do you mind if I use it? Is that okay if I use it? Thank you so much, man. It's a good joke. Thank you. Now, I really hope you appreciate this set because I have an irrational fear of standing in front of the number 73. <laughs> Your joke about just, irrational just fears yeah. and the number like 73. Okay. I'm about hey, to remember the mind if I use that. It's a really good joke. And then it's funny because you're using it like someone else's joke. Yeah, no, no, I think it's quite funny. Yeah, no, no, I, I, I so I'm just going to use it. I'm here, all of you, with your crippling lack of self-worth. <laughs> so with the knowledge of Alfie's advice, the stolen jokes, 
and knowing I literally cannot bomb because everyone here is paid, it was finally my turn to be in the spotlight. This next act is going to do his second ever gig here at the We Are Funny Project. It's Mr. Usi. I'd like you to start slapping your hands together. Welcome to the We Are Funny Project, his second gig ever. Welcome to the stage. So I actually performed here yesterday and it didn't go great. I was holding my phone for the whole time and I was reading off it and the MC Alfie, he said to me, he said you shouldn't like hold your phone and read jokes off the phone. So, um, um, so I'm just gonna start. Okay, your mama, so I'm familiar with the gym, she calls it James. It used to be called a jumpoline until your mama jumped on it. <laughs> knock, knock. These. These nuts. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But for real, I don't actually think it's professional to read it off my phone or hold my phone and read it off it. So could I get you up here, please, my friend? Um, could you just hold this, please? Thank you. Thank you so much. Ask me if I'm a truck. Are you a truck? No, I'm not a truck. What a stupid question. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, we do have fun. Judging by your appearance, uh, it looks like you're not very good at ball play. <laughs> I have an irrational fear of standing in front of the number seven and four. <laughs> oh wait, hang on, let me say that again one more time. Please. I have an irrational fear of standing in front of the numbers seven and three. You guys like that one? Yes? Yeah? Okay. Alright, good crowd. I'm here to help all of you with your crippling self-worth. <laughs> huh? What'd you say? What'd you say to me? You're heckling me. This is my second time. I'm just going to say some random facts now, you guys like don't have to laugh at them or anything like that, I'm just going to say some just random stuff. I'm actually mixed race, um, yeah, which means one set of my grandparents are white people and the other half of my grandparents are black people. Okay. Um, uh, that's my family. Um, yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Uh, I just want to say another thing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you! Appreciate you. Big up. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Wow, ladies and gentlemen, I think something very special just happened. And you were all a big part of it. His second ever gig. That was the best second gig I've ever seen. Give the man a royal award. Thank you. Fantastic place. It's been a pleasure working with you. And you. Legend. That was the performance of a lifetime. For a second, when I heard those encouraging words from Alfie, I briefly forgot that it was all staged and I paid the whole crowd to be there. But none of that matters because the only thing that truly matters is Alfie believed it. We made a man who has probably seen more comedians bomb than anyone else on this planet believe that even a terrible, awful comedian can kill it somehow. And to be honest with you, I didn't have the heart to tell him that it was all fake because for once in my life, it made me feel good that someone actually thought that I was funny. I told you that it was going to be a special performance. It was special. I've got to say, that was absolutely one of the best second gigs I've ever seen. Oh, the audience are totally with you, but you did fantastically. I'm really impressed. I don't know how to tell him. I don't know how to tell him. So we just got to go. He thinks I'm the greatest comedian of all time. So how am I supposed to tell him? But big up Alfie and big up the We Are Funny project. They do great work for all comedians and Alfie is a proper great guy. But today, we the NDL. Beat comedy. Yes! We did it!
absolutely smashed it. I actually feel like a proper stand-up well comedian. Done, I'm proud of you. I have to thank myself for it because I just told such great jokes. So yeah, big up guys, and uh, yeah, I'll see you soon. Uh, by the way, um, you have any crack?